All right, we're going to factor out this completely, but uh, what you may notice from the beginning here is that there's no common terms, or factors rather, between 16x to the 4th and this 81y to the 4th, because 16 is 4 squared, 81 is 9 squared, which is uh, 3 squared, and 4 is 2 squared. So there's no common factors amongst these. But what's interesting is that if we split these up so that we have two square terms, then it's the difference of squares. So there you go. I've went ahead and written the difference of squares property uh, for you there. Now, uh, well, you may be wondering why I'm using squares, though, because this is to the power of 4 and this is to the power of 4. Well, if we were to change this so that 16x to the 4th, if we were to change this so that we had we know 16 is 4 squared and x to the fourth is x squared squared then we have a squared term here and we'll subtract this from 81 is 9 squared and y to the fourth is y squared squared so we can square both of these quantities and now we can use the difference of squares property so let's go ahead and do that and there we go Okay, our two terms are x in comparison to this difference of squares property was 4x squared and our y was 9y squared. Now, what we've run into again is that we have uh, two different squares that are being subtracted. So it's, being, it's the difference of squares property all over again. Let's take a look at that. So as you can see, 4x squared is really 2x squared minus the quantity 3y squared. So we can split this up once again, just this term here. Uh, now, later on, you'll find that you can factor out this 4x squared plus 9y squared, but it's all complex numbers. It's a, an imaginary number. And this is what we have right here. So, uh, since there's no other uh, perfect squares that we can factor out in this case, uh, and since this is more for earlier in your 1010 classes, uh, this is actually factored out completely as it is.